Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Just a quick stream recap from the EW stream that just finished. Uh, we got some new juicy stuff to talk about. Uh, something something new has been confirmed. Uh, other things are still up in the air. We don't really know what we're going to be expecting from this new update, but we know what the DLC is going to be. It's going to be a brand new weapon pack as suspected from the last video. I talked about what could be coming in this big update. Uh, if you haven't seen that, check it out. I will link it down below. But in this video, I want to talk specifically about the weapon pack and then we'll get into some speculation about what could be in this next update and what we know won't be in the next update so so far basically we're getting one gun per week in the stream so today we got the first next week we'll see the second and then a week after that we will see the third every Tuesday and they'll be uh, revealing what these new weapons are in this new weapon pack it seems like it might be a weapon pack with uh, I think he did confirm they are all rifles he did confirm that so hopefully we maybe get a couple more bolt actions but this first one confirmed revealed announced today in the stream is the 308 a 308 bolt action a lot of people have wanted this for a very long time me included we are getting a 308 bolt action it is called the Olsen so far there is one variation there's going to be one variation for these weapons a little bit different than what they've done in the past there's going to be one variation for each of the three weapons and then there's going to be some uh skins added for the gun customization so there's going to be some skins added for these specific guns and whether or not these skins will actually be usable for other weapons uh Jaxie couldn't confirm he's gonna find that out and let us know in a future stream but basically so we're gonna have just the, the one base variation and then we'll have some cool new skins that we can use on the new guns as well so the 308 bolt action it's a four round mag so whether or not this is going to uh challenge the kind of the the Zarza 308 which is kind of the meta right now in in the game uh in my opinion the Zarza 308 is a little bit overpowered it kind of uh you know it's kind of made the m1 kind of redundant as well as all of those other four to eight weapons so many four to eight class weapons i think this is like the eighth one um but it is a four to eight class weapon same ammo as the 308 zarza the polymer tip 308 uh, will still be the meta ammunition for uh this 308 as well as the zarza so it's a traditional bolt action it's called the olsen um, and then we'll find out in the coming weeks what the other two weapons are. Hopefully we're going to get something that goes up to class nine to rival the 300 Magnum, right? Hopefully maybe we get a seven mil bolt axe. It would be really cool. Maybe, uh, like a 375 or something like that. A Ruger, uh, 375 would be really cool. Maybe we'll get a new 338 bolt action. That would be awesome. Maybe, maybe like a 400, 400, like maybe like a 416, who knows what's coming, but I'm hoping that these next two, at least one of the next two is something that's going to rival the 300. So with that info, we know that this update is actually a little bit further away than I was expecting. I was thinking like end of February, but now that we know that it's at least two weeks away with, uh, we got to wait until next week and then the week after for the two reveals of those other two weapons, we know that uh, the update and the DLC, which will drop together, are a little little far off. So um, I think Jaxie did say in the stream, inside a month. So we're looking at maybe like an early to mid-March release for the update. Now, as far as the update goes, nothing Nothing is confirmed with this update except that there will not be a new great one in the update so I mean we just got the great one moose in December it's way too early for another great one that probably won't be happening until the next map releases which will likely be in June as per usual but with this update I mean it could be a lot of different things right it could be a new vehicle we talked about this in the last video I made uh, speculating about the update it could be a new trophy lodge still I think there's it could definitely still be a new trophy lodge maybe they give us a free trophy lodge uh, who knows I'm, I'm hoping for uh, some customization options in the trophy lodges as well as some filtering some sorting make it easier for us to build the lodges easier to go through our lists of animals and uh, put together trophy lodges so it doesn't take so long to do it I think that would be an amazing addition there will for sure be a lot of uh, like quality of life stuff I hope there's a lot of quality of life stuff in this update I hope they are focusing on quality of life just all the little things right the little things the little bugs and that fixes there will be bug fixes as far as exactly what that will entail we don't really know yet but I hope it is a hefty list as far as what this update will entail though it's really really hard to say whether it's uh, maybe boats or maybe it's trail cams maybe they're finally adding trail cams uh, maybe we're finally getting loadouts uh, maybe 
something to do with the Trophy Lodge, like I said, maybe more customization. It's very hard to say, but it's very exciting. It's an exciting time. There was also something else that showed up uh, in the stream that I noticed right away. I noticed it instantly on the spotting info when Jaxi was field testing the new 308. In the spotting info, there's like a distance estimator. I'll show it on the screen here so you guys can see it if you didn't see it in the stream. But it basically, the spotting info will show you now kind of an, an estimate as far as the distance of whatever you're looking at through your scope at the time. It's going to show on the screen on the spotting info just underneath the spotting info box you'll be able to see an estimate of the distance of what you're looking at so that's cool that's going to be probably more helpful for newer players than anything um you know once you've got the rangefinder binoculars you really don't really need that distance estimator i can't imagine really using it you're going to know the exact distance if you look through the binos so it's cool it's something that is really going to be nice for newer players uh it's considered a quality of life thing but for me i think uh there are other quality of life things that i would like to see in this update uh, I've got a huge list and uh, I'm hoping that some of those things are addressed and uh, and looked at as well. Another thing I noticed in the stream is the Zarza 308, which he was also shooting. Jaxi took that out as well to kind of measure it up and, and, and compare it to the new 308. But the Zarza 308, I think, I believe the sound was different. I think they might have adjusted the sound, which really needed to happen. The Zarza 308, uh, it sounded a little bit too, too poppy, um, a little bit almost like it's suppressed. Uh, not a big enough sound coming from the Zarza 308 so it sounded a little bit different and uh i'm hoping that that was an adjustment the update when we, we had the the addition of them um so yeah yeah we'll see we'll see that but no not this update okay we're zeroed for 300 into the crease let's see what that does this is with the zarza 308 in my opinion the 308 bolt action had a little bit too much penetration uh jaxi was shooting bison from like 250 meters and just getting way too much penetration hitting the lung and the liver and the stomach from like 250 meters uh with ammunition that is technically too small for bison so hopefully that's adjusted before the release and not after hopefully they will be field testing this stuff uh before the update is released and adjusting things so that uh upon release things are as intended so they don't have to go back and change things after the update is uh released that would be really nice if they they do that so i think that's pretty much it you guys that's uh i just wanted to talk about the new weapon pack the new weapon what do you guys think the next two weapons are going to be would love to hear from you guys down in the comments what do you think the next one's going to be what do you think the third one's going to be what do you want it to be what are you expecting to see in this update what do you want to see in the update really do want to hear from you guys down in the comments get the conversation going and uh no release date yet for the update as i mentioned but uh we're going to find out in these coming weeks uh exactly when this update and the new dlc will be rolling out thank you guys very much for watching i appreciate it if you enjoyed the video drop a like on it subscribe to the channel if you haven't already of course and as always i will see you guys in the next one